you guys have been asking for WWE character tutorials ever since the beginning of this channel and I just never really got around to it and now all that's changed we're going to do WWE starting with this one. What is going on Draw2 Crew? Ramdi here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys and today we are drawing the Phenom, the Dead Man, the Undertaker. Before we begin, if you guys are brand new to this channel, welcome! Here in this channel, I help you develop your drawing skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from movies, TV shows, video games, comic books, and more. So if you guys like what you see, definitely hit that subscribe button down below and also that notification bell so that you are notified anytime I upload a brand new tutorial video. Ooh, that's a mouthful. There are two reasons why I wanted to do this tutorial today. Number one, I wanted to show you guys that my action post tutorials can be used for other characters besides Fortnite characters. I know I mentioned that my action pose is based on a Fortnite action pose, but uh, yeah, so in this one, I do want to show you guys that you can take that pose and apply different characters to it. So this is gonna be one of them. So that's one reason, and the second reason is I wanted to do uh, WWE, I've been wanting to in such a long time and I just never really got around to it, like I mentioned. So here it is, and the first, character that I definitely wanted like when I thought when do when I do WWE which character should I do first and I mean no question it was one of my favorite it actually my favorite WWE wrestler uh, ever since the beginning back in the 90s when I was watching him the Undertaker he has to be first so you guys here are the tools that you're going to need for this drawing if you guys want more information about my art tools I have a list you can check out in the description of this video and again you guys there are three things that you guys need to keep in mind as you're watching this tutorial. If you're a subscriber, you already know the drill. If not, pause it now to read this list of things that you should know before you begin. Having said all of that, you guys, make sure you grab my action pose template. I have a link down in the description below. Once you have it, let's get down to this tutorial. All right, you guys, so for this Undertaker tutorial, I've got my paper already printed out from my website. So you guys go ahead, can go ahead and do that. Uh, get it from my website, print it out, and here we are. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first, going to figure out how to draw the head. So I'm going to zoom in and let's put on Undertaker's iconic hat first. And it's going to be covering his eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just go like this okay and then the the actual top of the hat is going to go here so there you go so we're gonna work our way and make a hat out of this i actually don't remember what the name of this hat is but yes yeah, so you go to the sides of the head you bring it up like this and then round it off like that okay and then on this side there's a little dimple and you don't see it much on the other side i'm just going to leave it like like that like a C shape. Okay, now the brim of the hat. Oh, forgot to mention. There's that part of the hat there. And now the brim of the hat kind of goes around like a disc. There you go. And you want to make sure that you're not drawing a fedora because that's not what this is. This is this is a different kind of hat. And if you guys know what it is, actually, let me know in the comment section. I would love to know. Okay, there you go. So you don't see his eyes. That gives him that mysterious look, okay? Now for the face, don't worry too much about making him look like the um, the wrestler because that's kind of not the point of our tutorial here. We're trying to draw the character, right? So I'm just going to draw a nose like this. Just like that. And then you want to give him like a, a not happy look not exactly frowning either and then the bottom uh, the the bottom lip is just going to be a line and then another line at the bottom that's going to be for the for the beard I'm going to just draw it like this for now at the top is going to be the mustache so here's the mustache right there just between the nose and the and the upper lip there didn't mean to make it too full. It's not supposed to be like a thick mustache. Okay, and then it goes down this way and this way. All right. I'm going to draw a line from the nose down to the 
um, to the beard goatee and then another line right here when you do that it sort of will start to look like Undertaker because he does have that uh, the actor does the wrestler does have like these two lines that go down the side of his face like this okay now let's add the add the goatee the beard the Van Gogh Okay, and then let's give him some cheeks there, and one over here, and then the side of the face. There you go. And then here, the side of the face goes like this. But of course, what we're going to do is we're going to cover it with his hair. Think of long hair, curly, sweaty, wet. Looks like it's just been showered. So. I'm going to create just a bunch of hair going down his shoulders, down to his chest like this. And it's just all curly. And then the rest of the hair is going to go back like this. So imagine the hair is coming from this corner, right? So there you go. And you want the hair to kind of go mid chest. And you want to do the same thing on this side. Of course, you want to, you don't want the hair coming out of here. It makes no sense. You want it to come from the top of the head. Going down, and this one's gonna go around the back. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw the neck. There you go. A little bit of the neck muscle going this way into the um, clavicle. And then it goes this way as well. Some more neck muscles there. And that's good. He does have a tattoo. And I'm not going to go into a lot of detail with the tattoo because it's actually really hard to tell. And I looked at different websites to see if I can get a good look at Undertaker's tattoo. And there really wasn't much. So we're just going to... I'll, I'll show you a little <laughs> bit later on. Okay. Um, there's a little buckle here. Let's add that. There you go. So now you've got a big brim, mysterious looking face. That's the Undertaker that I remember. Okay, there you go. So let's zoom out and work on his chest. Nothing much to it. We are going to draw the uh, heavyweight championship belt around his uh, around his uh, body here. But before we do that, we want to bulk him up because he is a bit of a bigger guy. So I'm just going to just make the upper body a little bit thicker. There you go. Okay, good. And uh, basically, very simple, just a basic undershirt. Okay, I'm going to draw a line right here, like that. And then this goes down to it. And then this goes to the shoulder, like this. Okay, and then this goes under to the armpit area and then goes to the bottom and it goes it goes pretty low it goes to around here and then we do the same thing here and just have it come out like that okay and then just shape the chest and the shoulders there you go and then same thing over here just shape the chest and the shoulders And then right here, the chest. Draw it so that there's a clear definition in the clavicle right there. There you go. I'm going to draw, and I'm going to stylize it a little bit. He does have some elbow pads, so it's gonna come out this way and come out this way and right here there's a kind of a rectangle that's <clears throat> the actual soft padding for the elbow there you go and then so it goes narrow this way and then think of an elbow pad when it's 
when it's compressed, when it's bent. So that's what that looks like right there. Okay, and then let's add his tricep and his bicep right there. A little bit of a dimple right there for the tricep. And there you go. My phone is dinging, by the way, <laughs> if you guys can hear that. Anyway, uh, there you go. And then let's do the exact same thing on the other side. Let's give him some elbow pads. Here's the elbow padding, kind of sticks out like that. That's pretty much it. It kind of looks like a half moon. And then let's just draw the top part like this. And that's the elbow pad. Okay, and then let's draw the bicep. Some shoulder muscles there. And we're good to go. Okay, and then forearm muscle. Let's leave it, draw a line right here. This goes this way. There you go. So there's that, like, elbow. You, you kind of feel the bone right at your elbow. I'm kind of doing it in camera here. So that's what this is. This is, like, the from the elbow, the bone that goes all the way to the wrist. Okay? He does have some, like, sparring gloves. And they're thick at the wrist. And then thick in the back. Thick in the back of the arm. Like that so I drew two lines here to give it some padding and then you don't really see the rest of it so I'm just gonna leave it like that just imagine it goes in a nice little way of cheating if you don't want to draw hands is to just have the hands tuck in like this okay and then same thing over here thick padding much like this wrist here and then forearm muscles and you're good to go that's it he does have tattoos but I'm going to leave them um, if you guys really want to it's like his tattoos go on his arm here like this and it just wraps around but again like it's hard for me to teach you guys how to draw a tattoo because tattoos are really personal right <laughs> his tattoos there and he's got tattoos over here as well so I'm just gonna it's up to you if you guys want to draw those arm tattoos but uh, yeah they they cover both arms from like this it's just the entire sleeve it covers that too all right so now let's draw the belt this is the uh, heavyweight belt and the first thing you want to do of course you want to find the center okay the center of the circle kind of goes like this right so you want to find that center so that this right here should be at the center of your of your belt. Do that this point right here. Okay, now shape your belt to the shape of the uh, the championship belt. So right here, take that rounded circle look and draw this, and then it goes down like that. Okay, and then here it comes to a point, it goes back like this. Okay, right here I'm going to continue this to the other side and here as well. So this obviously is a belt, so it goes around to the back. Okay, and it should be, half of it should be below this waistline and half of it should be above the waistline. And same thing over here. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a thickness so you guys can see that it's kind of sticking out there as well. There you go. Rectangle here. I'm not going to draw the details of the belt. Four like screws or whatever you call it there. Okay, here I'm going to double up this line and same thing here. That's just to separate the gold part of the belt and the actual like leather strap of the belt itself. 
Okay, so now we got one screw here, another screw on the other side, one screw here, another screw on this side, and then one, two screws here, and then two screws on the same spot on the other side, but you don't really get to see it much. There you go. And then over here, it'll say like world championship, uh, heavyweight something, I could barely make it out, but that's what it says right there. And then some emblems over here and just like some really fancy, really fancy designs. And then at the bottom, it says Undertaker right here. So there's the WWE World Championship belt right there. Okay, and then take a step back, check to make sure that you got everything covered. Make sure everything looks good. And then let's uh, zoom, zoom out work on the legs now. And the legs are fairly easy. So let's zoom in. I'm gonna bring the crotch up a little bit higher, just a tiny bit higher. And then imagine this kind of goes around or it's 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 two parts, right? He's they have the, the leg part, the spandex for the legs and then the spandex for the underwear. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to separate both of them. And as you do that, you guys, there's going to be a lot of wrinkles right here. Draw the butt there. And then now, this is just skin tight. So just follow the contour of the leg until you reach the boot. And then the top part of the boot is going to be right here below the kneecap, right there. And then over here below the kneecap again, right there, kind of mid calf muscle. Okay. So just follow the side of the leg all the way down. Just give it a little bit of muscle definition here. There you go. And of course there's, there's a lot of designs. Uh, there's a lot of design elements in The Undertaker's, well, for the most part, it's black, but sometimes he has like the Undertaker logo and all that stuff here. But uh, for now, I'm just going to leave it completely black, you guys. And again, this is the look that he has, uh, like a more modern look, not the classic um, dead man look. This is like the Phenom look, I believe that's what it's called. Okay, so there you go. Just adding some muscles just above the knee, below the knee. That's it, don't give it too much of a definition. It's supposed to be black, right? There, so that's good. Now let's work on the boots. And these are just standard wrestling, wrestler's boots. Draw two lines here, this at the top, ankles, this goes down. Like that. I'm gonna make a thick sole, but not too big. Okay, I'm not going all the way down to this, maybe just half of it. Looks like that. Okay, I'm gonna draw a line right here, and then lines going up. Now I'm going to draw the laces. So two lines here, they go narrow and then they get wide again. all the way to the top there. And then now let's uh, just draw where you would have the laces go across, okay? And then you do the same thing on the other side, making sure that you're drawing them in pairs so they correspond with another uh, shoelace hole on the other side. There you go. Now, X is and 
and then the top and the bottom, close it off with a line across. There, and that's it. Nothing to it, fairly simple. And then the same thing on the other side. So let's just continue. First the front and then the back. Goes in like this. This goes to the side like this. So it goes across. Right here, this goes up and then down. So that's just to separate the heel. And there you go. Over here, you want to draw that right there. It's like a separate piece. This goes all the way to the top there. Remember, we've got two lines here. Okay, now over here again, slight little line, and then this goes in like this. Now line following this curve of the boot on the front of it. Again, shoelaces, shoelace holes. This goes across, the first one goes across. And then what you wanna do is you wanna create these Vs instead of Xs because obviously it crosses here and then on the other side of it is where you see the X. So it's you only see half of it and half of an X is a V shape. Line across there. Give it a rougher texture. And that's it, you guys. So this is my very first WWE um, tutorial. And I know many of you guys have been requesting it, so more than happy to oblige. And I'm kind of happy that, you know, we can, we're able to use the, um, the standing pose, the male pose uh, for our first WWE tutorial. So there you go, you guys, this is The Undertaker, a more modern uh, look for The Undertaker using the um, action pose, the standing action pose. Thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial. And you guys, that is all the time that we have for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the very end. It is much appreciated. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community, post your artwork there, or head on over to Instagram and tag me at draw2 so I can see your drawings. If you are ever curious about the equipment that I use to do my drawings or to make my videos like this, I have links in the description below that you guys can check out there. I have, you know, a list of like the pencils that I use and the paper that I like to use, colors that I use. So make sure to check that out. If you feel like being extra generous, I have links in the description as well to different ways that you can support this channel. You know, your contributions go a long way in ensuring that uh, content content creators like myself can create stuff for you guys free of charge. So thank you so much for considering. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button down below, comment or hit that subscribe button and share this with your friends in your social media accounts. And of course, speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Google Plus, and also on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of this tutorial, as well as the action pose that goes along with this tutorial. So make sure to check all of those out, linked in the description down below. And I think that's it, you guys. Thank you once again. And finally, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next video.